thousands of Husky fans gathered to welcome back the team after their big win. We just caught up with UConn coaches Dan Hurley's family this morning. Oh my gosh, it's once in a lifetime. It was amazing. It's incredible. We are so excited. After the hundreds emails and stuff. Hey there, this is Kip Piercy. Can you hear me? To go back and celebrate. We have that for us, yeah, loud and clear. And he's Thank you. Mr. Turner says that having the Final Four here, hosting it in this city, is going to bring at least a $150 million economic impact. Reporting live downtown, Severe Rayford, KPRC 2 News. I just let you, wish you, wish you a base, I, <laughs> I can't really go. All right, thank you. <laughs> Celebrations got rowdy in Connecticut, though, overnight after the UConn men's basketball team took home that national championship. Got a little crazy. Lighting on UConn's campus went out. It was cut after several lampposts were knocked over. You can see people on top of the building there. They were celebrating and setting bonfires and screaming. But hey, another championship. Yep. Celebrating hard. 6.05 here at KPRC 2. Four people were killed at a resort in Mexico. The victims were discovered in a beachside, one of the beachside hotels in Cancun. Two people have been arrested in the case. So far, the victims' identities and nationalities have not been released. Uh, neither is the cause of death. Last month, the U.S. State Department did issue a travel alert for Americans planning to spend spring break in the Mexican Caribbean, including Cancun, Playa del Carmen, and Tulum. While still a concern for Houstonians this morning, crime has been trending down, and that includes killings. Homicides are down 21% compared to this time. All righty, stand by. We'll be coming to you all next. Attributes this to his One Love Safe it. Houston initiative that was launched in February of last year at a cost of $44 million. The program relies on community involvement and millions in police overtime dollars. Americans are one step closer to our return to the moon more than 50 years after Americans first walked on lunar soil. NASA has selected the four astronauts who will circle the moon next year. Another step before we get back to the lunar surface. Commander G. Reed Wiseman will lead mission specialists Christina Cook and Jeremy Hansen with Victor Glover acting as the mission's pilot. And joining us this morning, all four crew members live from the Johnson Space Center. Such an honor to, to talk with all of you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to talk with you as well. So, Commander Wiseman, uh, first to you, how, how is Artemis different from the Apollo program so many are familiar with? Uh, we were joking yesterday that uh, none of the four of us were alive when uh, Gene Cernan and Jack Schmidt left the lunar surface as the last two humans to visit the moon in 1972. Uh, the Artemis generation is, is all about youth. It's all about uh, going in an era of inclusion, all of us for humankind, and we are looking forward to being the first step in that journey out to the moon. And Mission Specialist Cook, you are all NASA veterans, but you know you could soon be household names like Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. So how do you feel about that? I think for us, it's not so much about our own individual legacies, but about what we get to contribute to. We're contributing to a mission that's going to kick off a return to the moon, a sustained return where we stay and we do the science that the moon is absolutely capable of providing back to Earth. And then we use what we learn there and we go on to Mars. So being able to contribute to that is really what we're focused on. Uh, and Mr. Hansen, uh, what is your take on all of this? I mean, this is really the next step. <laughs> Uh, in what, a future of going to Mars and beyond? Yeah, absolutely, and for Canada, you know, it's, it's a really a monumental step. Um, what really struck me yesterday was just the tremendous American leadership that has created space, not just to go to back to the moon as one country, but that global leadership to take the world uh, with uh, NASA and America this time. So I, I'm just really grateful for that American space leadership, and it's really lifting Canada up and giving us a chance to show our genius and shine alongside you. Mr. Glover, tell us about the training and how it differs from training to going to the space station. Well, you know, the, the missions to the space station have a, a, a much longer duration, and so that's a big part of uh, what we factor into the training and also selection for those missions. But this training is going to be about 18 months, learning about the systems. But along the way, not only do we have to train, we have development and evaluations and verifications of the system because the hardware and software are still under development. 
And I have to go back. I have to add something to the question earlier about one difference between Apollo and, and Artemis. When you look at the Orion spacecraft, it looks very similar to, to the Apollo spacecraft. It's a capsule. They're shaped very similarly. But you see solar arrays coming out of what we call the European service module. And I think that's a physical uh, distinction, but also sitting next to Jeremy Hansen, the fact that this is an international partnership. That is a, a big difference between uh, Artemis and the Apollo program. And, and Ms. Cook, back to you for one last question, because uh, you hold the record now for longest space flight uh, by a woman. Are, are, and that was just a few years ago. You finally got home from that long journey. Are you ready to go back? <laughs> Absolutely. I couldn't be more ready to contribute to this mission. You know, being able to stay on the International Space Station for that long was such an honor. And I always say about records that it's not the number of days that you do, but it's, it's what you do with those days. And also that I can't wait for records to be broken. That means we're continuing to push those frontiers. So it'll be an honor to be on this mission, to contribute to another one, and then to see what the people that come after me tomorrow's future explorers continue to do. Well, we are so excited for this. Thank you all for joining us this morning, and good luck. Thank you. Thank you. We keep telling our kids we're all going to have dinner on the moon someday. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you all soon. Godspeed. Right, take care. Godspeed. Thank you. Proposals at sporting events. You are clear. Thank you so much. Uh, to go Thank as you. planned. Nah, we're going to totally tell you about the, the tackle. Camera. It's a big tackle, Anthony. It's a big hit. Stand by. Yeah. I'm ready to see Over it. You, Let me show you what's happening this morning. Overcast skies.